Actually, I was 40 pounds heavier there, but the uh, photo guy got rid of the, the real fat Nick. So anyway, <laughs> my name is Jay Cotter from uh, North Carolina, Eastern North Carolina, Moorhead City, Landing Beach to be exact. And my wife, Carol Joy, is with me. We've uh, actually been in the business for uh, approximately 15, 15 years. And um, uh, we rehab well over 350 houses. Um, I never wholesaled a deal in my life. That's going to be my ask when I get to that. But uh, just a quick little summary of our journey. Um, our, our total target market is only 40,000 people. So we're in a small market. Uh, thank goodness I don't have much competition. <clears throat> and uh, we don't do that many transactions, two to three a month, but our average profits are $64,000 per deal in our area. Price points uh, up around 250000 So anyway... Go back 15 years ago, the first six years that we were in the business, I was relying on local banks. And uh, my banker, uh, his name was Steve. The operative word is was Steve. I called up, I remember exactly where I was standing in my office. And I called him up and I had two deals in the contract. Both deals were a little bit north of $100,000 in profit and equity. And Steve went silent on me. Uh, I told I mean, I'd had this conversation hundreds of times with Steve, where the properties were, when I wanted to close, how much money was going to be required to fund the deal. And Steve uh, finally cleared his throat, and he said, well, Jay, uh, the bank has collapsed your line of credit. I never heard of a line of credit being collapsed, but I knew it didn't sound good. I said, what do you mean, Steve? He says, well... Uh, the banks were just not lending money out to real estate investors anymore now. And of course, some of you or all of you can probably remember what was going on in 2009. I learned quickly I was the first one to get cut off with no notice. And so um, my definition of coincidence is God's way of staying anonymous. In less than, in less than two weeks, I was introduced to this world of private money. Now, I don't mean hard money. I mean, true private money doing business with individuals like Corey and the team does there. I'm sorry, tell me your name one more time. Yeah, yeah Shelly, like you all do. In fact, Corey was our ambassador when we were here in December. So, so I was introduced to private money. In less than 90 days, um, I was able to attract $2,150,000 in true private money from individuals. And since that time, we haven't missed out on a deal because we didn't have the money. And so then fast forward to um, nine years ago. So that was the first six years of the business. Nine years ago, I started doing private money. Then seven years ago, um, I found myself bored because the real estate business, we had automated, had a great team in place. And so I said, what am I going to do next? And so I decided to start training other real estate investors on how to get the money. So uh, we've got two companies. We've got uh, our investment company that does the single family house business. Uh, and then we've got our, our training company. <clears throat> so uh, let's see if I can get this going. I got the green thing on Brian, but she ain't clicking. Uh, I don't know if the battery's dead. That, that's working. Point of the ceiling. Point of the ceiling. Wow. Oh, packed for the computer. All right. <laughs> That's a good tip. So, as I said, we're in Eastern North Carolina, 15 years doing the business. Uh, in 2017, we did um, 31 flips. Um, again, not high volume, but um, good on the profit side. I'm also in commercial, um, developed a shopping center. And so, that's total passive income because the $22,000 mortgage got paid off in February. So that's nice. Uh, as I mentioned, we've got the training company. We do about 31 events a year, and I market myself as the private money authority. <clears throat> uh, and we present at about 35 live events per year. <clears throat> this is our just our second uh, Collective Genius meeting. You know, I had a fantastic two conversations with Jason uh, before coming in December. And I knew, as you all know, I'm not telling you, you don't know, that first conversation with Jason, I heard the spirit come through his voice and I heard his heart. And I said, I'm sure this is something we want to be involved with. So when we came here in December, I mean, I've, I've been in many other mastermind groups. This is the best.